Hey everybody, it's Micah, Outdoor Living Guy, talking to you today about how you can use your backyard space in another way. See, we always talk to you about outdoor living spaces and how you can be attracted to your outdoor space. In this video, we're gonna to talk to you about how we can attract wildlife into your outdoor space. And not only what that wildlife will do for you, but what it will do for the ecosystem of your backyard space. So I can't wait to let you see this, guys. I can't wait to talk to you more about how important this is, especially for your kids, teaching them about creating this backyard ecosystem that will really benefit their, your family and also benefit the wildlife that lives in your neighborhood. So we look forward to talking with you about this right now. So one of the biggest ways to attract wildlife to your backyard is of course water. All animals need fresh water. Now there's lots of different ways that we can, we can bring water into our backyards. Beautiful cascading water features, meandering brooks. You can even do small fountains. All of these ways will be magnets for wildlife. Water also does a great job for attracting birds, especially birds that want to bathe in maybe a bird bath or their own bird bath that they've created from your water feature. So we are trying to attract the birds to this water feature and it's amazing what happens. Look at them on the wall. They're feeling a little bit apprehensive about coming because of us but look at what adding a water feature to a landscape does look at this it attracts so many birds and so much wildlife this is so neat adding a backyard birdhouse could be an amazing way to attract wildlife to your backyard i would even say add two add three they're an amazing way to create a safe and cozy space for your birds. And really, when you're doing this, you're going to have a rewarding adventure. And it's really fun to be able to watch this awe-inspiring life cycle of birds. So when a bird nests on your property, of course, they're gonna raise their young. And it's fun to be able to know that you are responsible for a little bird family in your backyard. It's really nice to be able to teach our kids from this. So as we're thinking about adding birdhouses, really research this and see what types of birdhouses will attract the, the birds that you would like to attract, and then really uh, enjoy the time and enjoy the rewards. One of the main benefits of creating and attracting wildlife to your backyard and creating spaces that bring the wildlife in is it will teach your kids so much about wildlife. It'll teach them that we all live together and we all benefit each other by having a backyard habitat that supports and encourages growth in a variety of species. For all of you who have had a pond, or if you know anybody that's had a pond in your backyard, you will realize how much a pond attracts wildlife. I'm sure you can remember those spring days after the frogs started to populate that we realize that we have a symphony in our backyard every night. A pond attracts frogs. You will either love it or you might even start to go crazy because of how many frogs are in your backyard. So something to think about, I personally love attracting a frog and the wildlife to my garden space.
An instant way to bring wildlife into your backyard space is by adding a backyard koi pond or goldfish pond. Now this will instantly bring wildlife into your space because you are gonna go out and buy the koi or the goldfish and put them in the space. But really that is just the start of the benefits of adding a koi pond or a goldfish pond. So koi have been known to relax the homeowner. So it's a stress relief by adding a koi pond or a goldfish pond. So at the end of the day, you go outside, you relax, you feed your, your koi, you feed your goldfish, relaxing with nature, being at one with the outside, being at one with wildlife. And you get that in your right in your own backyard. So really think about this as you are contemplating what to do for your backyard space. A koi pond can instantly bring nature to your back door, but it will also attract many other wildlife as we've talked about already in this video. Something you might not want to see or talk about is the benefit of earthworms in your backyard. They are going to help your soil so much and they will help keep everything organic. They will add nutrients to the soil and they will fertilize the soil just by having a healthy amount of worms in your backyard space. Something that's becoming very popular is to do a backyard beehive. Now this is something that I'm personally looking into and I will most likely be getting this next season. I actually am very anxious and excited to be able to bring the bumblebees into our backyard. But with planting for attracting bees to your garden, of course it's just whatever you can imagine in your garden. So. You want to attract it with either flower boxes, window boxes, flowers in the garden space. You can do raised flower beds. You can do flower pots. Whatever you can do to bring in those bees. Of course, lavender are a very strong uh, flower to be able to plant for bees. But really, any flower that you can bring into your space will be bee friendly and it'll get not only the bees into the garden space, but it'll be attractive for us to be out there as well. One of the most relaxing things you can do, a really a stress relief, is to plant your garden space to attract butterflies. They are going to be some of the most interesting wildlife that comes into your backyard. They're also the most beautiful in some areas. Now, of course, when you do these plantings for butterflies or for other wildlife, you will be attracted to this space to enjoy this wildlife. It's that peaceful time, that little quiet spot to just enjoy being in your backyard, enjoying the wildlife, enjoying the beautiful butterflies, enjoying the bees, all the other things that we've talked about. My favorite birds to attract to the garden space is a hummingbird, and it's probably yours too. Now, the hummingbird can be attracted by not only a hummingbird feeder, which is very easy, some sugar water with a hummingbird feeder could definitely attract hummingbirds throughout all seasons, and they really will need that in the wintertime. But also, beautiful native flowers can definitely be added to the garden space. It will not only be beautiful for you to be able to enjoy, be able to look at, you're gonna be attracted out to kind of hang out around that beauty around you in the garden space. One of the most entertaining of wildlife critters to invite into your backyard space is the beloved squirrel. Now you can love them or they can drive you crazy depending on what your backyard environment is most set for. If you have a typical bird feeder, it might be very hard, if not impossible, to keep the squirrels away from that bird feeder. 
as you're seeing here. Now, of course, some people invite the squirrel into their backyard space with a squirrel house. In fact, as I looked back at some of my photos from this project in the forest, I realized that the homeowner did set up two squirrel nests in this backyard setting, in this forest environment. So fun to be able to watch from a window. They are incredibly agile and able to find ways to get through even difficult obstacle courses that you might set up for a squirrel in your backyard space. Another popular way to attract wildlife to your backyard and a little bit controversial is building a bat house. Now, why would you ever wanna build a bat house in your backyard? Well, there's lots of benefits to bringing in even a few bats to your backyard. First of all, bats love to eat mosquitoes. Of course, mosquitoes love to eat humans. So if you have a bat, even one little brown bat can eat over a thousand mosquitoes in one night. And one of the coolest things is they're just fun and fascinating to watch. As the sun begins to go down, you start seeing flashes of shadows in the evening. So wasn't that fun to talk to you about all the different ways that we can attract wildlife to our backyard space? There are so many different more ways that we can attract wildlife. I'm sure you have some ideas yourself. If you could just leave those in the comment below, I'd love to hear your thoughts on that. And I'd also love to, in the future, shoot more content on some of these items. All of these things that we talked about, I personally love and want to do in my own space. And I always want to do things in my own house and then be able to recommend them to my clients. So a lot of these things, especially the beehive, I really want to be a beekeeper in my own backyard space. So I'll be talking to you definitely about that in the future. All right, guys, thanks again for watching. Please don't forget to like, please don't forget to subscribe, and we will see you very quickly, very shortly in the next video. See you soon.